Hello everyone. So today let us work with uh, org mode uh, tables and uh, I wanted to make this video today because uh, I use of course org mode number 1 number 2 I also use tables because sometimes uh, things that you can do in a table is uh, not really something that uh, you can do in uh, bullet points. So tabular format is I believe uh, quite easy to follow and to work on not always but yeah i mean there are cases where her table makes sense so what i want to do today is i want to show you few things that you can do with uh, your table like uh, like doing total and uh, i have made couple of videos in the past uh, just focused on uh, working with tables in org mode and i thought i'll probably continue uh, and make uh, maybe one more video because this is something that you may also want to do so talking about uh, a table here what i want to do is by, by the way in this particular table i am basically keeping track of my day and uh, i am keeping track of my uh, activities that i want to do at a specific time or basically a range of time for example the start time is uh, 4 o'clock in the morning so which is of course mentioned here in the first column the second column is of course the end time so 4 am till 7 am i want to work on app development then uh, from 9 to 12 i want to work on again app development and so on so what i want to do i want to do two things i want to calculate uh, the uh, total for every row so let us first do that and for doing that i need to i mean of course i have the formula at the bottom but i'll explain and i have the formula here because it will uh, help me to uh, show you so we have to use this hash plus tbl fm and then you have to specify the uh, because we are trying to work on the column whenever you are working with columns you have to use a dollar so dollar 4 means uh, the last column and here we are not really talking about uh, a specific cell we are talking about the entire column and uh, the formula is quite obvious we have to basically make sure that uh, the uh, that the The, the the formula here is the end time minus start time that is it so of course as uh, we just uh, discussed the end time here is in uh, the second column <coughs> which is dollar uh, 2 and uh, the dollar 1 here is the first column so this is of course a simple thing and if you press control c and uh, c you will get uh, the you, you will get the uh, the the response here so this looks good and uh, <clears throat> what i also want to do at the same time because uh, we have this uh, uh total here because this this is fine i mean uh, I, i know that this particular uh, uh, calculation is correct like 3 plus 3 which is of course 6 then uh, 2 and then 1 and 1 so basically total is 10 hours which i also want to display here because why not so this is something that you can do i mean you can leave it blank or you can just know again go back to the formula now what we have to do we have to uh, basically work on uh, the summation of uh, the last column which is dollar 4 but for doing this sum for doing this uh, summation we have to ensure that we refer to a specific uh, cell and for doing that uh, first of all we want to display this column here oh sorry sorry the sum of all the rows here i mean sum of all the uh, all the cells in the in the last column we have to basically display a sum here i want basically 10 to be displayed here so for doing this uh, we have to first make sure where exactly this uh, cell is so this cell is actually uh, in the location which is uh, if, if you look at the number of rows from the beginning it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so basically this is the uh, seventh row again let us do it again one more time 1 and 2 And three and four, five, six and seven. So basically, this is the seventh. And of course, we are talking about the seventh row. And one, two, three, four, and fourth uh, column. And uh, if you have to do multiple calculations, you can do double col uh, double colon here. And uh, because we are trying to refer to the row here, which is uh, row number seven, we can of of course do it like this at the rate seven. So at the rate is for row and dollar is. Uh, for the column so basically this at the rate 7 and dollar 4 is the cell the last very last cell in this matrix 
and uh, what we have to do we have to do summation so there is a formula and by the way there are other formulas you can go to org mode table i mean there is a link the way you can find these things and for the summation we have to basically do a summation of uh, these cells uh, or basically 3 and 3 and 2 and 1 and 1 and uh, you don't have to specify all the cells you can actually do a range for example the very first cell is uh, second row and fourth column so basically second row and uh, fourth column which is four and then you can do a range and then uh, the sixth row and fourth column so you can do again at the rate 6 dollar 4 and if you do control c control c again it uh, should display the uh, summation of everything and of course you know while you the good thing about this formula is that if you change something let us say tomorrow i want to maybe wake up uh, at 3 o'clock which is uh, again you know a bit difficult but it should basically increase this 3 to 4 and total will be 11 so let us uh, go to the uh, go to the uh, uh the, the last row or basically this line and do control c control c and now you can see the total so this looks good and uh, wonderful and what i'll do i'll probably get rid of this uh, last row that i was referring to for the formula so this is of course a simple thing and i thought i'll probably show you because i'm sure if you are working with org mode and you have to deal with tables and eventually you will need to do something like this so maybe if you are doing some lightweight uh, spreadsheet in or mode using emacs then maybe you can get rid of your excel or uh, maybe google uh, sheets or libreoffice i mean because it is nothing but a text file and it works really well and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you today so that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye